Hey guys, how's it going? Tez back again with another episode of the Tottenham Career Mode and as you can tell from the title we have an absolute cracker of a game against Manchester United away from home in this first one. It really is an end-to-end -end goal fest. Eight goals in total, you'll have to wait and see which way they go but Soldado strikes the bar there early on after Smalling was loose with possession, he runs onto it, sprints away and unfortunately isn't able to put us 1-0 up but he is going to be able to put us 1-0 up here. Lovely finesse shot around the goalkeeper into that bottom corner after shaking off the attention of two defenders and that's a great way to start off this particular game but Kagawa was doing the business down the left hand side plays the ball into Rooney and that is a tidy quick finish that uh, kind of catches Hugo Lloris off guard and they're back to 1-1 not too uh, not too long after that but Literally, just a couple of minutes later, Carl Walker goes on a little bit of run, decides to absolutely smash it, and it flies into the bottom left-hand corner, and we're 2-1 up again. But two minutes later after that, it's then breaking down the left-hand side again. Ashley Young's going to whip it in. That finish, by the way, from Shinji Kagawa is unbelievable. I left a replay in. Just watch the way he strikes this ball. That is insane. How has he even got that right foot up there and been able to keep the control on that to get it into the top left-hand corner? I have no idea. And not only have they scored that goal, they score another one just before half-time. Wayne Rooney picks up his second of the game. So we actually go in 3-2 down at half-time after being 2-1 up with just five minutes to go. Mental. Absolutely insane first half. And it wasn't stopped. It was, wasn't finished there, rather. Lennon plays a gorgeous through ball to Christian Eriksen. Going to try and get the shot away. Great save from the goalkeeper. But Soldado is on hand to tidy up the scraps and pop the ball into the back of the net. So it's 3-3. And then they bring RVP on for Wayne Rooney. I thought, well, that's not exactly a change that's nice to see as an opposition manager. But uh, RVP is going to be involved straight away. They're going to work the ball out to Patrice Ever on the left hand side here it's going to get into the box whip it in RVP is going to put it into the back of the net and I thought this was offside when the whistle first went he's not he's given a penalty and I was completely uh, perplexed as to why a penalty was given and I had a look at the replay see Sandro dives in there doesn't get the ball and he actually take he doesn't even take Ever out Ever falls over him as Sandro is getting up so uh, A, RVP was offside. B, I don't think it was a penalty. So could we get justice by saving the penalty with Hugo Lloris against RVP? No. Unfortunately not. 69th minute, we do go 4-3 down. But the pattern of play so far in this game is one team goes ahead, the other team equalises. So uh, could that be the case again? Could we bring it back to 4-4? Unfortunately not. Sami Kadir replaces the ball into Antonio Valencia, who pops the ball into the back of the net. And we are, in fact, going to lose this 5-3. And uh, one thing to point out, Man United have got Thiago Silva. You've just seen walk across the screen there. So they were extremely strong defensively. Sami Kadir in a holding role and Thiago Silva at the back was just unreal. But, of course, we are now in the January transfer window. I'm going to have a quick fiddle of the budget. I didn't realise by dropping my wage budget by... Uh, a little bit I could actually raise so much extra when it comes to transfer funds so hopefully we can bring in some good signings this window and uh, I can guarantee you that we are going to bring in some good signings in this window so do be sure to stick around for the rest of this video and of course the uh, upcoming career mode episodes that are going to come to you over the next week or so but so uh, we get uh, an, an international offer there from Greece we turn that down as we uh, did the same with the one from Slovenia but I put an inquiry in for Nanny 19 million and uh, they is the price that they want for him I haven't followed that up as of yet because we didn't have time to we're going to jump into this second game of the episode against Southampton and of course you can see we're ninth in the table but do have two games in hand so plenty of time to uh, to catch up on the teams ahead of us and one thing I want to talk about whilst this uh, this game in particular is in the background is video length I know a lot of you have been asking for longer videos this one is a little bit longer than the than some of the previous ones have been and I have to apologize for that um, I basically it's a case of my internet speed is woeful and um, the uh, the extra you know the larger file sizes etc along with the extra workload of all the different uh, videos I, I make and put out etc I just don't have the time to be able to put every single uh, career mode episode as you know nine ten plus minutes per episode we do still have three games per episode every single episode so uh, that will definitely be continuing but uh, unfortunately I won't be able to make any longer videos uh, than I do already at this present moment in time. Should the internet around here get upgraded? Should um, you know I be able to uh, to get them out quicker? Then uh, then maybe we'll have some longer videos in the not too distant future. But for now, they're going to remain around the six to eight minute mark. But it's also a matter of um, you know trying to bring in a new crowd. I know you guys have been showing some amazing support, and the channel has grown wonderfully over the past two or three weeks. And uh, basically, I'm going to put it like this: if you don't know about if you didn't know about my channel and there was a career mode video that you thought maybe I'd like to watch that people are more inclined to watch a video that's six to eight minutes than they are to watch 
uh, a video that's in the middle of the season that's 15 minutes long if you see where I'm coming from now I wholly understand how uh, you know you guys would definitely want to see longer videos from me I want to give you longer videos but at the same time I want to be able to uh, grow the audience at the same rate as keeping the current audience happy if you know what I mean do you see where I'm coming from let me know in the comments well if you actually understand the point I'm trying to get across because it's kind of hard to word it but um, I want to grow as well as keep the the current audience happy and keeping the current cu audi current audience happy is by putting out the continual quality high quality of videos that I do and uh, to uh, you know interest and attract new and uh, you know new subscribers then I need to keep videos at a short-ish what more watchable level for uh, for new people coming in so I hope that makes sense to you um, I've been wanting to put this in a commentary for a while but not really knowing how to phrase it I still don't know how to phrase it as you can probably tell but um, that's the situation at present we'll have to wait and see maybe next gen maybe when um, the channel gets a little bit bigger and there's a larger audience then we can start moving on to um, to longer videos but we're still having three games per episode regardless so you know if I can maybe if I can score some more goals we'll have some more highlights to put in the videos themselves but we're coming into this one against Manchester City now they sit top of the table and let me tell you they are such a good side on career mode this year they were unbelievable to play against this move just highlights how good they were from back to front this is early on this is in the first five minutes and it was kind of a, a side to us for what was going to come for the rest of the game fortunately Zeko smashes that one past the post when he really should have put that into the back of the net but um, oh my days were Manchester City good they were so powerful they counter-attacked with such pace and purpose and how Jovetic got that much power behind a header of that angle and accuracy I've no idea but it clearly as you can see he's been scoring goals for Man City all season long but they I just cannot underestimate how good they were particularly in this first half just it was just relentless wave after wave of, of sky blue attack this is just I kind of fast forwarded this this is how good they held on to the ball now I pride myself on my ability to play possession football on career mode and online I couldn't get near them. I just could not get near them. You see from the stats at half-time, 64% possession from Man City. That is unheard of for me playing FIFA. I normally have the 60-plus percent possession, or at least over 50, over half. But uh, second half, we were going to step it up a little bit, but they were still going to be on the attack for most of the half, getting through here. Fortunately, Hugo Lloris is able to make a save there and then keep them out but then towards the latter stages of the second half maybe that high tempo that they were playing was uh, you know detrimental on their fitness on their stamina and we got more and more into the game towards the end of the second half we uh, we had a few chances there Joe Hart thwarting uh, Soldado I think it was having that effort from distance and then uh, Soldado is going to have uh, another chance but uh, he's going to set up Christian Eriksen who has a decent shot again Joe Hart saves palms it back into danger but the defender is there to clear the ball and uh, then Aaron Lennon is going to rifle this one towards the bottom corner but Joe Hart again is on hand to make a decent save and uh, we are on top in these last few moments and can we get an equaliser they swap Negredo for uh, for Edin Zeko, just kind of time wasting. We whip the ball in. Eunice ball goes up, but unfortunately the header just isn't accurate enough. It flies over the top of the bar, and unfortunately we do take a defeat from this one against Man City. So we don't do that well uh, result-wise, but performance-wise, I've I'm still pleased with the way the team is going but as you saw we put bids in for Nani we've also put a bid in for Freddie Guarin we bid 10 million for Nani initially bid 10 for Freddie they turned it down so I went with 12 when they asked for 14 we'll have to wait and see in the next episode if that deal is going to come through and also if Man United are going to move on the Nani deal I am also trying to sell on Aaron Lennon as well as Moussa Dembele so that will hopefully happen in the next episode but that is going to wrap this particular episode up I've said episode so many times in the past 10 seconds um, but thank you very much for watching guys please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind that'd be superb again let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts about the whole shorter but still quite long is three games per video layout of this series uh, i hope i was able to get my point across in uh, a legible way in an understandable way but uh, that is going to uh, bring this one to a close so if you aren't subscribed and uh, you would like to do so there will be a link to do so in the description and an annotation on screen and uh, if you missed the previous episode then there will be a link on screen over the play button so you can go back and check that out but that is going to bring this particular one to a close guys so thank you again for your massive support of this series so far long may it continue and uh, i will see you next time